And so in this module, we're talking about significant figures and calculations. So the idea is that every time we take a measurement, the number associated with that measurement has some uncertainty associated with it. And it's important to carry that information through on any calculations that we do. And it ends up one of the things that we need to be able to do in order to do that, to carry the information about the accuracy or precision of that measurement through the calculations, is to know how many significant figures there are in a number. So that's what this is, just how to look at a number that came from a measurement and tell how many significant figures there are. So there are some rules. Okay? The first rule okay, is um, when you're looking at a measured number and you're counting how many significant figures, a number counts, a digit counts if it's a non-zero integer, if it's a zero that's enclosed. What does that mean? An enclosed zero has a non-zero integer somewhere to its left and somewhere to its right that's enclosed. And that counts as a significant figure. A trailing zero, sometimes they count, sometimes they don't. If, and this is key, the, the, this is key, if there is a shown decimal point, if you can see the decimal point, if it's written in the number, then trailing zeros do count. What's a trailing zero? Trailing zero is a number that's uh, zero, excuse me, that's at the end, on the right-hand side of the number, with nothing else to its right. That is, with no non-zero digits to its right. Now, what doesn't count? So when you're looking at a number that came from a measurement, uh, any leading zeros do not count. What is a leading zero? It's a zero that's on the left-hand side of the number as you're looking at it, with no non-zero digits to its left anywhere. And a trailing zero, if the decimal point is not shown explicitly, then trailing zeros do not count. Again, trailing zeros are zeros that are on the right-hand side of the number that do not have any non-zero digits to the right. Now let's look at an example. So this number right here, okay, so it came from a measurement. G stands for grams, so 0 0.0100230 grams. First of all, these two zeros in the front do not count because these are leading zeros, and leading zeros never count. These two, let's see, this one and this one, these are enclosed zeros or encased, same thing. And they do count, they always count. Uh, let's see, this last zero here on the end, this is a trailing zero. And remember, a trailing zero counts if and only if the decimal point is shown. It is shown here, so this does count. These do not count. All non-zero digits count. These two do count, and this does count because we've shown the decimal point. So how many significant figures are there in this number? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six significant figures.